Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I customise this lovely t-shirt from my dear friend Lou from Miss Lou to you and I'm going to be using my Arteza products to do this. You already know that whenever I'm customising any of my clothing that Arteza has my back. Now this really cool character is called Astron. He's a little alien boy and he's one of Lou's very own original creations and she actually has a whole load of different characters. She even does comic books with them. My girl's amazing. May over here, she's actually my favorite character. And then Ringlet as well, absolutely adorable. And Astron is this super cute little alien boy. And these are some of the comics that she has done. They're really, really good quality and ever so cute. So I highly do uh, recommend that you do check her out. I will leave her links to her comics and also to her store in the description box below. So for this project, I'm going to be using my Arteza fabric paints and I'm also going to be using the uh, 3D gold glitter fabric paint as well. But of course, I have to make sure that I have some cardboard in between the t-shirt just to make sure that nothing actually leaks through. Nothing did leak through, but just to be on the safe side. I really, really love how really pigmented that their paints are. They're very, very nice, but I do still recommend that you give it a couple of coats and then of course seal it all in afterwards with an iron. Now I'm using this really cool like waxy paper disposable palette. I'd never seen one of these before, but I really do like using it because it just sort of saves me having to like clean out a plastic palette. I just like screw it up and throw it away and then it's all gone. Um, so here I am now just mixing together my pastel colors and I'm using these really, really cool brushes. They are so thin and really, really great for doing details. And of course, as you can see, there are lots of tiny little like dots and little stars that I need to sort of get around. And these brushes were absolutely perfect for that. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, hang on a second, Aisha, Astron looked absolutely nothing like this. He did not have rainbow hair. Yes, I know that, but I wanted to actually paint him to look a little bit more like me because I kind of relate to him in a way. And sometimes like throughout my life, I felt a little bit like an alien sometimes because like I stand out, I'm a lot, you know, I'm bright, I'm colorful, I'm in your face and not everybody is like that and not everybody can handle that and so I've often felt out of place and I'm talking like from like growing up in school any sort of workplace and anywhere where I am I always feel like I just stand out and I try to blend in honestly I really do but I just can't I'm just not a blender so I decided to paint him as if he was me so I really hope that you enjoy what I've managed to do with this So the most obvious difference here is of course his skin color. He's actually purple and I've gone ahead and painted him brown. <laughs> I know that um, in the video, this shade of brown looks a little bit on the orange side. It's not as orange as it is appearing, but um, that was just my lighting. But uh, later on you see it, it does get darker. So don't worry about that. But uh, I have to just praise these brushes again because, because there are so many different like thicknesses to them. I was really able to get all around those teeny tiny little freckles and it was just really really great to work with and very very comfortable as well and I found getting the paint out of them really really easy too and I don't know whether that's anything to do with the quality of the hairs on the brush I don't know but yeah I absolutely love these and I didn't expect to use them for the entire piece but I did because they were that much fun to work with. Oh, and another thing, I'm really impressed with the way that the white paint managed to actually cover over the brown where I made a mistake. I was really surprised at that. I thought I was going to have to like really go over it, but even just one coat managed to cover up my little mistake that I made earlier. So yeah, really pleased with that. Thank you. 
Now it's time for me to do my second coat. As I said earlier, I do recommend doing a second coat with these paints just to make sure that you fill in any like gaps or any sort of brush strokes or anything like that. Um, I decided to put a bit more of the darker brown in with it this time just so that um, it kind of matched my skin tone a little bit better. I mean, it's still not quite there because I, I am fairly dark skin, but I didn't want it to be too dark because obviously it's against a black background. But, um, and I also uh, colored in all of the eyes in purple just so that they looked a bit more uniform rather, rather than having um, purple, pink and blue. I also really, really love these cute little freckles here. I think they are absolutely adorable. I might have to start adding this to my like general makeup look. <laughs> so here I am now just using the 3D gold paint to add a little bit of bling to the stars because you know, I'm a little bit obsessed with glitter. <laughs> and speaking of glitter, I had to add in some more to the, um, to the actual lettering because I was gonna leave it like that, but I thought, you know what, no. Let's go, let's go all out. Let's add in a bit more bling. Look at that, my darlings. The glitter mixed in with the paint. Look at how amazing that it came out. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love it. I'm so, so happy with this t-shirt. Now you can actually look forward to seeing this being used in an upcoming styling video that I'm gonna be doing for Miss Lou to you. So definitely do check that out when it comes out. It will be in the very not too distant future. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.